Because that's new YouTube. This is your man George Page. Coming to you live. Live on YouTube. Well, I want to wish a happy birthday to a legend. A man that is just so um, dramatic. A man who's so, you know, uh, the excitement personified. This is a legend in professional wrestling. A legend in uh, movies. A legend in television. A legend of the world. This is one Mr. Dwayne Johnson, a.k.a. The Rock. <laughs> uh, like I, you know, I'm a big fan of um, Dwayne, um, the Rocker, since I was a kid. I mean, he came on the scene in the uh, tail end of the '90s and the early um, 2000s during the Attitude Era of um, WWE with WWF. And um, you know, he started off originally kind of a you know a good guy. You know, he was calling himself Rocky Maivia, which was a mix of his father's name the, of Rocky Johnson and his grandfather's name, the Ch Chief P um, Peter Maivia, which made him a second generation wrestler. I think he was the first second generation, a third generation wrestler in the history of um, professional wrestling. I mean, um, there's, there's quite a few second generations, but I think he's really the third um, generation wrestler, you know, in history. You know, he's really the first to me. But, um... You know, Rock is just a legend. I mean, you know, and he came on the scene, like I said before, is a kind of a, a, a baby face. And then uh, I think, you know, I remember one time he had this thing with um, him and the, the Hawk Talk man were talking back and forth and saying that people didn't like him. And then he became a bad guy. And after that, he, he quit, his, quit his new persona, just being like, you know, he used to come on wearing the, the shades and the, and the Versace shirts. And, you know, and, you know, he was, um, he was one, he, for a while, he was with the Nation of Domination. That was Farouk. Um, the Godfather, before he became the Godfather, um, you know, D'Lo Brown, you know, it was like, you know, it was that kind of like a, you know, militant group, you know, and then, um, you know, he became a leader of the nation for a bit, then he was with uh, Vincent Mann, his group corporation, and then he became a solo, like kind of a solo artist after a while. Now, one thing about The Rock, he is a two-time Intercontinental Champion. He has won the uh, Heavyweight Championship, you know, on at least 10 different occasions. And he has been a five-time um, tag team champion. He is a, a Slammy winner. And I think he's also in the Hall of Fame for um, WWE. he got to be in the Hall of Fame because if he's not, I don't know. It's just, come on. You know, I mean, you know, he should be in the Hall of Fame by now for first wrestling. And then um, he started really acting. You know, you know, I think, uh, I mean, it was one week I was watching an episode of DS9. He played an alien fighting um, seven of nine. And then um, the real thing that got him in the movies was the movie, um, The Mummy 2, where he played the Scorpion King. Yeah, he was playing the Scorpion King in the first part of the movie, and then he was a CGI um, creature. And then they made um, the Scorpion King movie, and after that there was a bunch of pissy sequels without the rocks, so they were garbage. Like this, this is the rule of sequels. If you don't have the original characters, even the main, the main star from it, it's not really that good. You know, even though you make a prequel, that's one thing. But even the prequel has to have, have to have the original guy from it. You know, it's just that's a see, that's a rule of sequels. You gotta have somebody from the original one. It's mostly the, if, if you have the main star, that's good enough. Anyway, you know, Rock has had a, just a great movie career. You know, I mean, um, you know, he's been a part of the Fast and Furious franchise the last uh, almost ten years, and he just recently just did a movie with um, Jason Statham, which is the, which is a spinoff of the series is Fast and Furious, um, Shaw and Hobbs, Hobbs and Shaw. I saw that the other night. I was watching it. It was a pretty good movie, you know. And um, you know, he's a uh, he's on HBO series Ballers, which talks about you know football players. And if you, this is the thing: before Rock became into wrestling, he played for the University of Miami, and he won with the team of uh, the uh, the national championship back in '91. And then he uh, you know was trying to get his hand into the NFL, but it didn't happen. He went and played in the CFL, the Canadian League, for a little bit, and then they dropped him. And then he decided to, you know, follow the footsteps of his grandfather and his father. And you know, it was it a few months ago? His uh, father, Rocky Johnson, passed away, and my condolences to the family. Uh, he uh, was married to his first wife, which was his, uh, you know, mother, his oldest child, and he's now currently married with two other kids. And he still does a lot of stuff. He does stuff on production side. He's uh, he was the last time we saw him a while back. He was on when they had the BMF title, where he put the the belt onto um, Jose Masvidal. And um, you know, he's just just that guy. I mean, he's also very much he's in fitness and health a lot. Him and his ex-wife do a lot of work with um the IF, the IFBB and, uh, and sport bodybuilder herself. Danny, his ex-wife, she herself was also a professional um bodybuilder at one point in her career. And like I said, you know, 
I just used to love when he do the little like, you know, you know, it doesn't matter what your name is. <laughs> that's that's my brother's XA Goose um, 23 and reach watchers. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I mean, the little pie jokes. I mean, I mean, one time talking about the Undertaker and um, and like, like, die, 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 die. die. I mean, it was wild. I mean, I used to love that. The, like I said, the actual area of my favorite wrestlers was a rock. Stone Cold. I love The Undertaker. I mean, those those guys were just entertaining and, and just just it just brought a show. And um, he came, you know, I figured last time he came back a little bit, you know, he comes in on and off, but now he mostly going by Dwayne Johnson. He don't use the rock that much. Um, I would say check out his movies like San Andreas. Um, he did a movie called Rampage. Um, there's a movie called Skyscraper. He did, you know, it's it's kind of like some scale like it look like a almost like a new version of Die Hard in a way. And um, you know, it's just the list the list of his movies and television appearances are just you know just amazing i mean he from from coming from where he was from, his, from who his family was to where he is now it's just you know you know amazing now he was born may the first no may the second of um 1972 which makes him 40 years old and he's great shape with got his age i'm jealous he's he's three years younger than me and he you know it's just dedication stuff like that i just wish i had his dedication but like i said just speaking as a, a fan of this man as a not just as a wrestler or actor but just generally as a person I want to wish him many more birthdays, and I just want to just you know say just one thing: if you smell with the rock is cooking, <laughs> it's your man George Page. Like, subscribe. Don't like, don't subscribe. I'm out.